Thanks to Scott and Churchill Connection, this is a Valley Line train. Please transfer it to Churchill Connection to the Churchill Station for a capital Metro Line train. Oh, first day of the train. <laughs> this is really nifty. Armature East. Well, you'd have to go to the westbound platform that's over there. Oh, this is amazing. <clears throat> New Tart Station's approaching.
try. Here we go. Oh, I gotta get this seat. Ah, beautiful scenery. Yeah, it's a lot better than the clear, clear view line. The capital line. Yeah. Yeah, the capital line takes longer. And it's not a lot of scenery. Though, so that. Except the Dudley Menzies Bridge. Ah, these seats are comfortable. The plastic ones in the other trains on the SD-160s on the Capital and Metro Line are challenging. Especially the XD-40 buses. Yeah, it's really nice too. With, it's good they, they got the bus route, uh, the, the Rapid Express route uh, to connect with the Valley Line too. So people can meet halfway. And we are in Strathern. Hey, this is where I pass by on the bus too. Yeah, it's funny they took the buses and then uh, reinstated them. <laughs> no buses. So are you the commercial project? I don't. Commercial project? Uh, yeah, we both worked on this project. Oh, wow. Yeah. And this is Bombardier. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I got to say, it's this is the first time I'm filming this inside the train. There you go. So these are expendable joints, too, kind of like the articulated buses. Yes. So kind of like the Toronto streetcars, uh, the ones in the TTC, they have like these. Okay. Yeah, they, they also have Bombardier. Uh, like, the, uh, the, like the T1 trains. 
Well, Vancouver is like this too. They've got articulating. They can have Same. articulated cars like. Uh, like cars Sky Trains. Yeah. Yep. So we're in the 2021, and right now we're. I'm in the 2023. We're. We're. Wow, this is really nice too, so people can use this as standing and just sit standing up. Yeah. yeah it's, it's actually a bicycle, that's a bicycle rest area, but it, yeah, I mean, it, it's multi purpose. But yeah, they designed the train for people to bring you know, bikes, carriages, that sort of thing, and they've got a birthing place to, to rest uh, without. And especially, there's the priority seating area with people with mobility yeah. challenges and yeah. also with um, all the green seats are prioritized seats. seats so if and somebody needs that seat people need to respect that exactly they should yes so those two green seats are also priorities and the blues are not priority the blue seat should be normal ridership but yeah when this train is packed to the rafters during rush hour yeah, and I gotta say what's really nice. You just push the button right there and the door opens. And then I just hear the flash for like the subway in Toronto here. It's yeah, I, I've seen these on the TTC, like on the on both the streetcar routes of downtown Toronto. Like the five five tenths of Dinah, the five oh five Dundas. Yeah. Next stop, what do you do? I haven't been there but uh, yeah. <laughs> been to yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ah, you should probably this is a good angle too, then I can get the signs. Do not lean against the bellows. Yeah, I should probably take a look at the Bonnie Dune station, the southbound platform side, too, since we're stopping there. So I should probably get off there, take some pictures, and then catch the next southbound train. <laughs> Don't worry, I can always grab the next train, too. Yep, so there's the Bonnie Dune. That's where I do Special Olympics bowling. Yeah, I'm probably going to get off here. <laughs> so this is where you know, people can still grab the buses this 73 and transfer to the trains here until right, yeah. uh, February. Wow. And there's also the uh, an elevator connection at Davies too for people in wheelchairs and disability issues. Yes, Wow. The seating is so awesome too. It's kind of like a 
It's solid as a drum too. So they have the emergency features so if there's an emergency people can use the emergency alarm strip or the um, emergency door release if there's a fire. So the Avonmore station stop is a separate platform. This one's the northbound platform, and the right is the southbound. So people can also use the bus uh, from this stop here, like like the 73 A and B and the 511 Owl. Awesome. And now we're going to the center platform. Oh, there's the northbound. Well, I gotta say, these Bombardier Valley Line LRT trains are like a state of the art. Yeah, I, I have a YouTube station of This Is What Brian Thinks Adventures. So, I do uh, random ETS bus videos uh, featuring bus drivers. Like, and the transit officers, uh, they know me as well. I have high respect for them too. And this is gonna be like a feature length special. With this amazing Google Pixel 7, you can make amazing YouTube videos in 4K. Next stop, AD station. I, I sometimes see LRT drivers go by too. Oh yeah, I film the LRT and sometimes wave at the drivers. And now we're going over the elevator bridge. Uh, it does remind me of some of the bridges in Toronto, like the Gardner Expressway, they have an uh, elevator bridge. Like where people go on to going into downtown. Like for example, like the Rogers Center, like the Spadina Avenue, they have a ramp as well. This is so nifty. Yeah, I should take a look at the back too. Wow. <laughs> now we're going into the Davies. Next stop, Davy Station. And now we're going to Milbourne Woodvale.
This is beautiful. Probably take a look at Davies too since we're here. I, I've been switching over to the front. So we're in 2023. Now we're all riding 2021. They have an elevator pretty fast. Otis. Here goes the valley line of 2021 and 2023. We can always get the next train to Mel Woods. There we go. 